Hello, I'm TNT Horse, and today we're here again with another small, but pretty helpful, um, I guess you could say a small update. It has some bug fixes mostly, but it also has a few features, and a few features that, um, well, me personally, I've been waiting for. Uh, yeah, this guy is still insanely fast and does not like me, but... Now, the traders in general are just a little bit mm, easier to work with. If we go over here, it's still a little wonky because of my GUI, but now if we are gonna buy some things like, I don't know, this dodgy meat, you see there, it put my coins into a nice, perfect, well, relatively perfect. Um, neat stacks instead of just putting all my coins into these single ones when I trade it. So that's a lot nicer. And now apparently there's some sort of, I believe this total is shown here, um, depending on what you put up here. And so if we put up all these things and then trade, there we go. Beautiful. We have an, oh, looks like that didn't completely train. trade. Trade. Uh, there I don't know oh no I see why you see right there right there it's he's out of uh, well he's not willing to trade with me anymore for that so which is fine he's also very drunk oh well um, yeah I should probably lay off for a second there also one more bug that was fixed with the trader was if you were clicking with the spawn egg if you were it would say with some text in the bottom that you weren't able to interact with the trader, um, but that's now been fixed. So now we can click on traders. Oh, uh, there, you, you see, it happened there again. Oh, may, maybe it's still in the game. Maybe maybe it's still in the game, but uh, it, it's mostly fixed, yeah, mostly. If we go inside of my house here, we have some more features which have just come along. Now, the cheese is it, uh, yeah, cheese wheel uh, can now be eaten in creative. It wasn't, it, you weren't able to before. And also, the feature that I've been waiting for the most ha ha ha! The conquer. Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And it does damage. It does tons of damage. Well, maybe. And may, maybe not. But look. You can shoot it out of dispensers too. It looks like you have a really far, yeah, throwing radius compared to Legacy. Legacy was uh, was pretty short. Yeah, I don't think you were able to go that far in Legacy. But how you're gonna be able to get these is if you're in survival and you're over here. And let's see if we just break some of these leaves you'll start getting conkers. See now, what are these leaves? They're fruit laden, oh, there you go. Fruit laden chestnut leaves, which they look like this and they just kind of spawn on chestnut trees most of the time. Well, I think pretty much 100% of the time, but um, I don't know if they actually normally fall like they did in Legacy because sometimes they just fall out of the tree. Uh, I don't know if they do it here, but yeah, this is from, th this block at least was from the uh, 1.4 update, but then now it drops conkers. Well, it, it did that too, but now they're throwable. That's the big thing, the big massive thing. And also, the Scorched Stone has been fixed. It's now a good and, well, not glitched out texture which is good, but also the sapphire texture has been updated. So we have, a, I'm guessing it's just more crystally, I guess now, instead of kind of what the legacy one was. Uh, I can't remember what the legacy one looked like. And now also one more thing, which is chestnut trees now can be found in all the biomes in which they're supposed to spawn. Before they were just spawning the Shire, but now they spawn everywhere else. So in Gondor, for example, or anywhere else that they're supposed to spawn, 
even such as here in Ur region or Urgeon. Depends how you say it, but I I mean I've heard both ways. We're also here in Eriador. We got a very big tree. So that'll give you lots of conquers, which is actually this is a perfect place to test out some conquers. Yep, they do damage. Boom boom. I don't know if they do a lot of damage though. Well, that's about it. It's a very small update, but it's out already. And it also seems like the next update, 1.5, is going to be adding quite a few little, well, little and large uh, features. So when that comes out, I'll make a video on it. And I'm excited already. It sounds like some way bigger structures will be implemented. But for now, we're going to have to just be building our own structures like this house. Well, see ya. Thanks for watching.